in this tutorial we will convert this solid body into sheet metal look we are going to convert with the help of convert to sheet metal and later we will open it and you can save this one as a dxf file so let's see how to do this and how, how the feature works in solidworks sheet metal now first let's create this 3d model then we will convert this to sheet metal 70 is the width 65 25 20 60 190 and uh, there is a we'll put one cutout line while doing this converting in sheet metal and we have one uh, flatten view we will uh, we don't bother about this millimeter but all dimensions are in millimeters then uh, internal radius for sheet metal is 3 millimeter okay thickness 3 millimeter relief shape rectangle and ratio 1 milli 1 up okay let's do this let me create one front plane a sketch activate line tool and i'm going to start with origin point just let me create some if you go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc just place somewhere then move cursor and click press escape key to out smart dimension 190 okay this vertical one 65 okay the radius 25 20 and this one shows 60 okay now go to feature and activate extruded boss base keep direction one mid plane because i want to add material both sides 70 millimeter okay now let me change color so it looks more visible okay right click on sheet tabs and activate here sheet metal go to sheet metal and here you will find one feature convert to sheet metal click and activate now first option use material sheet uh, we did not apply any material so i'm not going to use this even the second option sheet metal gauge i don't want to apply any particular gauge or uh, we don't have any bending table or something so we will keep skip this option now next option is sheet metal parameter first here you have to select a face you have to select a base or you have to select a i'm going to select the bottom one okay fix surface now if you see thickness reverse forward okay if you want to keep body sheet metal part as well as body both will be there but we don't want to keep body we just want to convert this three part into sheet metal now this is internal radius okay now here we have to choose the edges or a face to represent bend which we want to convert bend now base already selected so bending almost connected to base so i am going to select these four bottom edges now look once you select all four edges it will give you some more rip edges you will see this orange line these edges are going to break or going to cut okay now here you can't select if i am going to select circular edge it will show see it is non planar so we can't select circular edge these edges i am not going to select because i don't i want to remove material from here also okay now let's say i'm going to add bend here now see system automatically defined at rip edges okay okay let's do this first rip edge is already there rip sketches i will tell you now corner default here we have a different treatment for corner let's say open but overlap underlap you have to define this thing let's say gap gap i am going to say let's say 1.5 and uh, this is the uh, material overlap see default overlap ratio for all rip so 0.5 means one material is overlap up to 0.5 but i'm going to keep zero B for bending allowance custom k factor i'm going to keep as it is now rectangle 
our auto relief is rectangle and ratio this is ratio so according to our drawing the ratio is 0.5 let me check uh, okay ratio is 1 here so keep ratio 1 okay now let's open now see whatever edges we selected these bend already there and see this is open now let's click flatten see now these corners we selected rectangle okay now let's do one more thing now here add one more sketch select this face sketch I am going to sketch select line and convert one uh, enter one line at center now this is fully defined sketch exit drop down and here again edit feature now come to bend edges now here I am going to select now I want to make here a cutout so first rip sketches I am going to select this sketch now Now here bending is added. Here this edges you also have to select this edges. Bend edges. I am going to select this edge. Radius. Okay. Look. Flatten. And see. Both are equally distributed. Look. flat pattern right click and export to DXF give any part name save now I want to sheet metal now here entities to export let's say hidden edges bend line sketch forming to bounding box this outer box and output everything keep same say ok and see the part along with bending line and bounding box just simply save now you can export those file to AutoCAD or any other op for further operation so this is a very simple way to convert a 3d solid part into sheet metal I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS thanks for watching